Marrying your best friend statistically oh. lowers the chances of divorce by 70%. Lying flat on your back is the best way to survive a falling elevator. All right, now I just want to punch this dude in the face, right in the face. Welcome back, everybody. Oh my God, beautiful intro. This is Lush, crushed it. Guys, get your number two pencils and your college rules paper ready to take some notes because we're about to learn something today. Stuff that we probably don't need to know, but we're learning it anyways. Let's take a look at this old one that aged like fine milk. Oh boy. Oh, oh there you go. Hey, check this out. Here's the situation. Say you out with your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You know, you're at school, you had a club or something, getting busy. All right, you're just having fun. <laughs> Somebody steps up to you and they tell you they want to rumble. This is Fresh right, Prince now, of Bel Air era. for a second. Before you lose your head, get all crazy and toss your hands up, just think. <laughs> the person that uses their head can always defeat the person that's just trying to use their hands. Oh. Now remember that, because the more you know. <laughs> Irony. Oh, man, it only took 30 years, but that one came back to bite him now, didn't it? <laughs> I'm so curious about like the, the impetus for creating these back in the day, like the, the More You Know Foundation. It's like a nonprofit or something. It's like, let's just say things that teach people to be better. Some parents aren't teaching their kids. That's true. Basic Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, that is a decent message. I agree with that message. Sure. Just funny coming from him all these years ago. But yeah, that was yeah. prime time for like, hey, here's the most popular sitcom television star on TV right now. Put a little Let's PSA in put there. Put a little PSA out there and build some good karma with our with our brand. Crazy, Crazy history. Facts. Facts. history. You won't learn anywhere else. Oh, yeah. Between 10. 1913 to 1915, people could mail babies via the U.S. Postal Service. No. Ancient Thebes once assembled an elite military force consisting of 150 pairs of gay male lovers. They went undefeated in war for years. Pineapples in the- Hold on a second. Where are we getting these facts? <laughs> so, you just put a little postage stamp on a baby and throw it in the mailbox? Mm -hmm. Or I think we need a little more context to maybe what some of these rules looked like, but I'm willing to go ahead. The 18th century used to be rented as a symbol of wealth and power. People what? would rent Pineapple? them just for a single night to show off to fellow party goers. The last official Civil War widow, Helen Viola, died in 2020. Ancient Rome was eight times more densely populated than modern New York. The Austrian army once hmm. Mistakenly attacked and fought against themselves during the Battle of Karansebes. Okay. The confusion led to hundreds of casualties. Diarrhea sure. was so widespread mm. and common in the 19th century that people would develop opium habits because opium makes you constipated. I can believe that last one, yeah. I have a feeling it had more to do with the psychedelic effects of the opium than the constipation, but I'm still not convinced there was an army of 300 gay lovers that went undefeated. Yeah. And I don't know. You can take stuff like that out of context and make it sound cool. Like there yeah. must have been, yeah. maybe there was a service the postal office provided that got I, them to carry your babies from somewhere you can't just pop a baby in a mailbox. Maybe you could. I don't know. No, no, no. no. What is the deadliest encounter between animals and humans? Well, picture this. It is I 1945 mean, Myanmar, and the Japanese have found themselves in a huge predicament. World War II. They are trapped by enemy forces in all directions okay. and are left with just two options. Die in battle or cross a 10-mile swamp in an unconventional escape. It's actually a tough one. I always, I think sometimes about like Vietnam and wars were, that were in like very tropical, like gross, swampy places. Yeah. And I'm like, that just must have been the most miserable existence of all time. Okay, not to mention you're in war, worst case scenario, mm -hmm. but you're like traversing through swamps and jungles with flies and you're wearing all this gear and it's gross, like. Not like they have much of a choice, honey. I know they did. I'm not saying they had a choice. I'm just saying it makes me appreciate sometimes how fluffy my life is sometimes. <laughs> Put it that way. Fair. The swamp was unfortunately home to the largest reptile on the planet, the saltwater crocodile. Oh, and what commenced wee. next was the deadliest case of man versus wild in history. A thousand Japanese soldiers took on an army of crocodiles, and for hours all you could hear was scattered rifle shots and the screams of wounded men getting crushed in the jaws of huge reptiles. Come on, dude. As spinning crocodiles painted the swamp red, a few lucky soldiers Sp were able to survive by climbing trees. Of about 1,000 soldiers that entered the swamp, only 20 were found alive. No. They were funnily rescued by the same enemies they had initially tried to escape. A thousand men go into a swamp of crocodiles and 20 come out. All of the men. And the last 20 were rescued by the people they were fleeing from. And all of the men had rifles. A movie with a hundred million dollar budget and a fire director and cast go. That's what I'm saying. I hear a story like that and that's along the lines of like cocaine bear. 
You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> like Megalodon 2. Killer crocodiles and Did you watch Cocaine Bear? <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, okay. I haven't either. I've only, like, it got a ton of hype on Twitter and stuff, so I knew about it, but can't imagine you have. No. No, you never watched. I would enjoy something like that. Have you seen the previews for Megalodon 2? Meg no. 2? <laughs> You remember Sharknado? I do, I do, yeah. <laughs> this little history piece sounds like a Sharknado type movie, though. But Good. maybe it's real. Nah, f*** that. Weird facts that will make people say, why do you know that? There you if go. you spill bleach on your skin, the slippery feeling you feel when you wash it off is because you have basically made soap by dissolving the top layer of skin. There is a certain amount of body fat that it takes to stop a bullet, and it's about 60 centimeters of body fat. I could uh, defer that particular uh, fact to a lot of friends of mine that do a lot of videos where they're shooting bullets through stuff. Let me tell you right now, there's a lot of variables. I was going to say, there's so many variables. What, what caliber kind of, of the bullet? Kind of bullet? We talking, kind of gun? We talking 22? How far away are or you 50 from BMG? the target? Human meat is very similar to pork. How would uh, we no, know? No, come on. I, that's, I don't want to hear that. Crap. You don't? I'm kind of no, curious. No. I've always part of me. Always I can't, to, like, that gives me the heebie-jeebies to even hear that. I've always wanted to know what, like, a human fillet no, tastes but, like. But, uh, You've never been curious? Nope. Like, no. I know some of you guys, yeah, you're not just mildly curious what, like, a, no. like a quadricep steak would taste like. No. Like, don't pretend like cannibalism wasn't rampant all throughout history. But like I think about the movie, so one of the first movies, one of the first rated R movies I saw when I was a kid by accident was this movie called Alive. Mm -hmm. And I still have vivid memories of like how it scarred I was after watching it, but it was basically about this plane that crashed on like a, a mountain in the Alps somewhere and a bunch of people died. But the survivors tr in trying to survive, some people died and they had to start eating the people that died. It's very scarring for a seven year old. Coca-Cola can help with blood stains. If provided with a mirror, Go dolphins will admire their own genitals. <laughs> Hell yeah. I just see them swimming up to mirror and they're just like float onto their back. I don't know what dolphin genitals look like, I guess, so I wouldn't be no able clue. to make that, no <laughs> make that assessment. This is real. Here's a fact for you guys. It's not in a video, but there is a video on YouTube about this, but there was a guy in the 70s who developed a relationship and fell in love with a dolphin oh, and uh, used to make love to it. What, what am I supposed to do with that information? I don't know the name of the documentary, but it's on YouTube. Just look up dolphin <laughs> or something. But wow. There's an interesting fact you wish you didn't know. Facts 10 facts you, could save you your didn't know that life. could save your life. Right, if your guys. house ever smells like fish for no reason, nine times out of 10, it's because there's an electrical fire. If you're in a foreign country and you need to call for help, but you don't know the emergency number, call 112 and it'll automatically connect you to the nearest helpline. Is that a universal? Non-American non 911 basically? Or I'm more interested about the, the, the fishy smell in the house being an electrical fire. If a tornado looks like it's not moving, it's actually moving towards you. If you ever wake there up to the smell of gas, don't turn on a light. The spark from the light switch could blow up your entire house. Lying flat. That Unless, sounds awfully uh, dramatic. I would think, think that that's, true? no, there is an element of truth to that, but that's more with old filament lights, not LEDs. That being said, if you do are in a house that smells like gas, you want to get that out and not do anything really. Yeah, you just go. <laughs> Before leaving. Lying flat on your back is the best way to survive a falling elevator. If your hair ever stands up, Ugh. duck in cover because you're about to be struck true. by lightning. If you ever fall off what? the edge onto the tracks, don't. As if you have have enough time to know that one I'm upset about. What? If your the hair lightning? ever stands up, you just duck and cover because you're going to get struck by lightning. No, Come that's on, called bro. winter called, in New England. It's called static electricity and literally winter. I New wore England my hood and light. then I pulled it off. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, it's just a little static. Edge onto the tracks. Ooh. Don't try and crawl back up. Why? There's a crawl space built to go underneath in case this happens. If a deer runs across the road... It's also, like, not uni buying that. universally, I don't think I'm that's... just going to say that I'm not going to put my life on that. I will absolutely cr try and crawl back up if there's enough time. Runs across the road, it's better if to hit it than swerve into the ditch. But if it's a moose, Depends. then it's better to swerve into the ditch. Because hitting okay. a moose is like hitting a brick wall. That is Even true. if you I have no that. service, you can still dial 911. In an emergency... Emergency, or one, one, your phone two. will connect yeah. to the nearest tower. If you ever get kidnapped into the back of a vehicle, disconnect the brake light wires so the cops will pull them over. Then kick on the door to let them know that you're there. All right, now I just want to punch this dude in the face, right in the face. If you ever get kidnapped and put in the back of a vehicle with a picture of your mouth and hands being bound, disconnect the brake lights so the cops pull you over. Was there any decent takeaway in all uh, 10 of those? Hit a deer, not a moose. Swerve out of the way of the deer if there's room to. But sure, if you're like on a mountain range and you're going to Green 60 feet into a ditch, like hit the deer instead. Again, too many variables here. Do you know how cheddar cheese is made? And I'm not talking about craft singles. I'm yeah. talking the real stuff. I visited Hooks Cheddar in Westby, Wisconsin to find Ooh. out. Wisconsin First is the, milk the cheddar, cheddar cheese capital of the world. Then the curds are stacked. 
The stacking allows for whey to naturally be released. Then they're cheddared. This is cheddaring, chopping up the curds into smaller pieces so that they can then be salted. The salted curds are placed into molds where they are then weighed down into blocks and then aged for up to 20 years at Hooks. 20 year age cheddar, I bet that's delicious. So good. A glass of wine. Oh, dude. That, that sounds, is... wait, just imagine your life right now. Just close your eyes, take a little mental vacation. You are chilling out in like wine country. Mm -hmm. Just sitting outside in a little Adirondack chair mm -hmm. with a nice sharp cheddar and a glass of wine. <laughs> it's all I've ever wanted. There is nothing I love more than a charcuterie board with <laughs> fine meats and cheeses. Sorry, I forgot to mention the meat. Fine meats and cheeses, little glass of wine, couple of Marcona almonds, prunes or cranberries. Oh my God, I'm getting so randy right now. Stop it. All from the process to make cheddar cheese and this That just really triggered us. Wow, yeah. Apparently we need a vacation. Apparently we need a vacation and I need to eat snack. some food right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fact number one, when you sneeze, all of your bodily functions stop, including your heart. I've heard that, is that true? No. It's like a microsecond, so maybe. Not sure Fact though, number not two, looking at The average up. person produces enough saliva over their lifetime to fill two Olympic swimming pools. Sure. Fact number three, lobsters and jellyfish are considered biologically immortal, meaning they won't die unless they are killed. Come on. That doesn't make any sense. What if you it tell didn't me have it, any like food source or you tell whatever? me a jellyfish would live forever if it wasn't killed by something? Lobsters? I don't know. I don't know either. I do know that, that like, can't be. lobsters can like just never stop growing though. One of the restaurants I used to work at in Quincy on the seaport, every once in a while bring in like seven or eight pound lobsters Come and on. just put them in their own tank as kind of like a display piece to like, draw eyeballs. People used to order it and like, you know, they'd have a party, get the seven pound lobster, big stuff, there'd be like a huge centerpiece. It was, I was also under the impression that the older a lobster gets, like the shittier and tougher the That's meat safe. gets. It's probably not good. So it like wasn't even that good, the lobster meat. I, the idea that like they're biologically anyway, immortal makes no sense though. Not believing you. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already unhappy with this guy. Marrying your best friend statistically oh. lowers the chances of divorce by 70%. And finally, let's go, were... hon. We're best friends. Oh, I'm not married to Jackson. Okay, we're not best I'm friends. I'm just kidding. Whatever, yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Number five. All people with brown eyes have a layer of blue underneath, and there's actually a surgical operation to get it removed so that you can have brown eyes. I don't like this man. I'm not believing him. I don't know if I believe if that either. If you go from not being if able that to, was see true, to seeing, if that was true, the way people do stupid surgeries and sh to make cool Instagram photos, like people would be doing that all over the place. And I know for a fact that there are a ton of people with brown eyes that would get surgery to have blue eyes because there is nothing more attractive than a dark complexion person with dark hair with bright blue eyes. Like I have very blue eyes, but I'm pale and pasty and blonde. I have an interesting fact we could talk about. This we don't video like that is, guy. Yeah, that guy sucks and this video is over, but we appreciate you being <laughs> here with us, learning some things. I'm just pumped about the Will Smith clip. Use your brain before you throw your hands. Just not when you're older and your wife's a little nuts. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.